Coin collecting is a great hobby to give a person something to do that's positive in their lives. Another group that's good for people that gives positive things in one's life is Alcoholics Anonymous. And there's a tie together between numismatics and Alcoholics Anonymous. We spoke with one of the people that's a champion of this idea who ties together coin collecting and AA. 1935 is the year that uh, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous started and I used that year, uh, the, the minted year on the coin, to match uh, people's sobriety year, the anniversary of AA. AA was formed in 1935 so it's celebrating its 78th anniversary. So tell me, how do you tie numismatics together with Alcoholics Anonymous? Well, when I when I uh, became sober, uh, I, I got a 30-day chip for uh, sobriety, and, and I realized that uh, uh, people get one-year chips, two-year chips, three-year chips, and I thought, well, people with 20 years could I could I could get a year that matched their sobriety year and celebrate their anniversary with a minted coin. How did the tradition of giving a coin for sobriety start? Well, it started in, in, in Akron, Ohio, Ohio at the uh, St. Thomas Hospital. Sister Ignatia uh, would give uh, sacred heart badges to the alcoholics that she, she snuck into the hospital for recovery. She would keep them for a week, give them the sacred heart badge, and when they'd leave, she'd make them promise if they lost their sobriety, they would return the badge. Okay, this is one of my designs. It's the circle and triangle of uh, uh, the symbol of Alcoholics Anonymous, and I've added the uh, cross in the middle of it to uh, uh, for the Christian recovered people. Um, this is a 1935 nickel that gets cut out by hand with a jeweler saw. Um, with the 1935 nickel, we can also pressure fit it into a half dollar from your sobriety year. Uh, celebrating both AA's anniversary and your anniversary with the same coin. We're the only coin company that I'm aware of that has that double feature. Um, this coin here is also a uh, uh, 2004 piece nickel with the hand with the shaking of the hands. AA has the uh, uh, whenever an alcoholic reaches out for help, it is our responsibility to offer our hand back and to, got, and, and to give them help. And what has it been like for you to be involved with AA? Oh boy, um, meet incredible people. People have turned their lives around. Um, um, it's, it's a spiritual program. Um, it's not a religious program, but um, the people uh, that have long-term sobriety lead a, a better life than they, they were when they were drinking. A lot of them got to live life of their dreams when they drank. When they got sober, they got to live a life beyond their wildest dreams. And what has it been like being involved in numismatics? Well, it's, it's, it's quite a journey. It's, it's a very uh, lot to learn. I've, my business has been operating for seven years and uh, you know, I'm, I'm a rookie. I'm a rookie. I, I, I've learned so much uh, about the grading and, and, and the minting. It's not so much, a lot of times, the age of the coin, but where it was minted. If you wanted to say one thing to people out there that are drinking and may need to reach out and need some help, what would you say to them? Uh, they, don't, uh, they don't have to loot that life. They're, they're, they can change, and that's one people. The people that are in their uh, addiction don't realize is that there is a way out, and if they just ask for help. And what would you say to someone who was thinking about coin collecting? How would you get them uh, involved? Boy, I would tell them that uh, again. You get to meet a lot of wonderful people, and uh, uh, they, they they are so. Um, enthusiastic and passionate about what they do and, and it's, it's a great group of people. Very happy to be part of it.